Hi, I'm your host, Marsha Florence for Just Dance. Today, you need to join us. We have a dual cooking show, Light and Easy. Hurry back and join us. Florence for Just Dance. Today we have an excellent show for you, the dual cooking show, Light and Easy with Chef Bradley, and we're introducing the newest member to our staff, which is Bob Zeiler of Barbecue Bob's. So we're going to start off with some questions for Chef Bradley, like we normally do, ladies and gentlemen, because why? He's our consistent chef that tells us about keeping our weight down. Hey there, Bradley. How you doing today, Marsha? I'm fine. Good, Good to see you. Pleasure. Good to see you. Now, you know what? Someone said that they saw this gentleman, uh, Bob Zeiler of mm -hmm. Barbecue Bob, and they was wondering, um, has questions about him because he's a caterer. Why don't we have more on our show in reference to preparing a meal with you? Right. Okay. So, awesome. So today, I just wanted to have an idea. Uh, what would you have Bob do? He's a caterer and uh, he specializes in barbecue. Uh, today, we probably do like some grilled salmon here. I got a grill plate on a propane burner, so we'll do a grilled salmon with a uh, tomato and lentil couscous. Okay, because we're going to meet Bob later on okay. and have, hopefully do a show with him in reference to some good barbecue. Yeah, I think he got one of the best uh, tastes in the country. Okay, well we have to check him out. So let's get Bob in here. Hi, Bob. How are you guys doing? Hey, Bob. Bradley? Pleasure. Good to see you again. Good. Good Marcia. to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Now, Bob, normally Chef Bradley usually operates with me. I'm a sidekick, but today you're going to be uh, assisting him in the, in the kitchen here. Little, so, yeah. uh, Bradley tells me that we're going to be doing something with salmon, and I'm going to let you guys get started. Uh, but, Bob, we want to know a little bit about yourself before we do that. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, got into barbecue, actually, last few years, six years ago, seven years ago, actually after some health issues okay. uh, related from diabetes okay. and uh, got into the barbecue. Uh, so we know you specialize in, uh, in catering for fundraising events. Any yes. particular fundraisers that you like to be involved in? Primarily or? things for people with disabilities. Okay. Uh, kind of feel strongly to go that route. Okay. Give back to people that need. Oh, that's uh, a wonderful thing. And we're, we're a show that I always like to give back to. Correct, too. yes. Okay. Now, we understand that you had a bout with diabetes, and is, is that what actually caused the, um, the loss of the legs? I was diabetic 24 years. Okay. And uh, just complications from diabetes, picked up circulation issues with the legs. Okay. And uh, not taking care of myself. Okay. So well. that, uh, but you're back on the ball. Back at it as fast as I can go. Okay. And, uh, now, you're, you won an award not too long ago for... Michigan had their state championship cook-off. I got... Uh, 45 teams, I was third overall, first in brisket, third in ribs, okay. fourth in sausage. Okay, you know we have and, to check uh, that out. Yeah, well, okay. 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 exactly, and like I said, grilling is probably one of the healthiest ways to cook, you know. Okay, okay. Well, Bradley always prepares the meals with us with, you know, uh, something that's light, and, you know, this time it's a little different. I know salmon. Now, do you prepare light meals like salmon and, and grilled fish and things like I that? I do it, yeah, when I am grilling. There is a difference in barbecue and grilling. Okay. Um, okay. Is there such thing as a low calorie sauce or low carb barbecue sauce? Yeah, there are, yeah, there are sauces and seasonings you can do without sugar. Uh, part of the sugar process is for caramelization. Okay. Um, but there are things you can come up with. It's very easy to improvise, okay. make a little bit healthier foods. Well, I'll tell you and, what, uh, on our next show, we have to come and, and see you or have you out here and show us some barbecue tips. i got some ideas before I can put past you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, i tell you what, gentlemen, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to get started with uh, Bob Zeiler and Chef Bradley. Hurry back. Yeah. Not so bad, huh?
Hi, and welcome back to the show. For those of you who are just now joining us, I'm your host, Marsha Florence, and today we're doing a dual cooking show with our chef, Chef Bradley Patterson, and our newest member, Bob Zyler of Barbecue Bob. So, gentlemen, okay, this is unusual. Tell us what you're cooking today, and I know I must not be a part of this. Okay, so <laughs> what do you have in mind, Bradley? Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a, a grill plate here, and we're going to grill some salmon, and we're going to use uh, this uh, seasoning that I made up. You can use it outside on a, on a grill if you like to put it on your fish. It's just uh, salt, pepper, tarragon, a little dried uh, lemon zest, okay. and uh, dehydrated vinegar. Okay, now when you say salt and pepper, if we're still trying to watch our intake, is that low salt or? Yeah, actually this is a, what they call sea salt. Okay. Yeah. So it, it, you don't have to use quite as much because I like, the, I mean, I don't like my food to be salty. Mm -hmm. So this has a, a really good flavor to it. Okay. So I kind of flavor with herbs and uh, lemon zest. And what we're going to do here is uh, get our grill plate hot and get it going and uh, some water boiling to make the uh, couscous. So Bob, if you can grab that fish behind you. Okay, now salmon is a big thing these days. So Yeah, yeah. What, like I said, what I like about it, salmon is probably the stable of my mm -hmm. diet as far as my meat. Okay. I eat salmon pretty much every other day. Okay, what's the difference between wild salmon and salmon? Is there a big deal? Well, some some salmons are farm raised, mm -hmm. and and like I say, to me, I like the um, the wild salmon better. Okay, okay. Just has a more fishy so flavor. So they're, they're really pushing the wild salmon thing. So are we looking at wild salmon as best for our our system or something? Or? Well, well, what the thing of it is, like they they say, if you get a farm raised fish, then you, they can control what goes in it. Okay. So that's the difference in grain fed versus this thing is allowed to grow and uh, mature naturally. Okay, all right. So Bob's gonna handle the fish? Yeah, so, so, so and, and the other thing is, Marsha, like, farm-raised things are designed to get them to the table a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, they grow and they feed them so that they mature a lot faster. So uh, okay. um, a wild fish is gonna be a lot better. Now, like I said, what this, what this, this seasoning is, it's just, like I said, uh, my own little dabble I like to this thing gets hot quick there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Now, now with this here, everyone might not have. Is this considered this, a top level grill, or yeah. how is this? Well, no, you can you can buy them at that Target. They 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 pretty cheap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can buy one with the uh, the element goes that goes right into it mm -hmm. uh, for twenty four, twenty five bucks. Okay. Now, like I say, what well, this is just a real simple rub. You know, just to give it a nice. Nice flavor. Here you go, Bob. You can lay it on that uh, on that grill for me, and I'll season another one up. Wow, that's a good sound. Okay. That's, that's a, a good, good sound. sound. Okay, okay. Get a nice little crust on the outside of that. Right. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, of course, I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to narrate this situation today. Okay. So now, 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 Bob, would you use the same or technique, or is there a difference between? I know you guys have two different styles here, so. Basically, if uh, you were doing up. fish, does it matter what uh, side you do it on and all that? I like to start presentation down, right, as similar as Bradley would do, uh, flesh down. Okay. Uh, just gets a, uh, uh, what did I want to say with that? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so flesh down actually means for that to be done first? Yeah, that's going to be your right. presentation side. So and, you and flip and, that. And, uh, it's going to give you a without flipping the fish too many times. Okay. So you really don't need to flip it once. Is there some type of oil based on, on the pan? Yeah, I, I, I use like a non-stick uh, pan spray. Okay. And that's just so that it'll be easy to get off of that and flip over. Okay. This moving on turn there this way, Bob. Okay, and about how many minutes does, does this take? Usually probably about seven minutes uh, per side for the thickness of them. Mm -hmm. Because this thing don't get real, real hot, but it'll, it'll, uh, it'll cook fish for us. Okay. Okay. And should you keep the heat on high when you do this? Yes. Okay. Because I saw the pan smoking earlier. And... Well, well, like I said, when we put the fish on there, it cooled it off just a, just a little bit. Oh, I think I mean? turned it off. Sorry, guys. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I was busy. I was concerned about the fire. I was like, it was. And, and, and the thing okay. of it is, like, like, and like what Bob was saying, the reason we put the fish flesh side down mm -hmm. is that it has a tendency to curl. Mm -hmm. On the skin side, if you do okay. that first. So even if you're oh. frying a piece of fish and you put the skin side down first. You notice how it always curls in. Right. Wow. Okay. Learn something new every day. Okay. And so, and right now, what in the world would you use cranberries for? The cranberries I'm going to put in the uh, couscous because okay. I'm doing like a, a, a lentil and tomato mm -hmm. and cranberry couscous. Now, a lot of people really don't know what couscous is. Well, couscous is a, 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 
the rice of the Mediterranean, so to speak, or the pasta okay. that the people eat in that region of the, mm -hmm. um, uh, of the world. And the reason that I use uh, this stuff is because this is what I, I eat now that okay. has allowed me to maintain the weight that I'm at now. So you can buy a couscous with the with actual... The seasoning, with, with the seasoning. seasoning. You can buy it plain and add your own seasoning. It depends on what you want to do with it. Okay. But for time's sake, I got one that um, had yes. tomato and lentil already in it. And okay. it comes in a dry pack. Okay. Just re uh, rehydrated in water. Otherwise, you can have some that's plain. Yes, if you want it plain. Okay. Just, just like um, you can eat this for like a hot cereal in the morning. Oh. Just add brown sugar and butter. Okay. All right. So, like I said, it's not just limited to uh, dinner. Mm -hmm. You can make a salad with it. Okay. So now, is it is it healthy for you? I see it very. says, you know, uh, calories from fat is five and... Considered okay. out of 100. Okay. All right. Okay. Calories. So, five out of 100 is not that... Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess we have to start eating couscous. Okay. Now, so in the event that you have the fish, so you're saying couscous could be eaten in the day or the night or afternoon? Yeah. Like I said, it's not limited to just okay. dinner. I mean, I mean, because I eat it for a hot cereal in the morning. Okay. And it's healthy for children? Yeah. Like, like uh, they call it porridge. That's porridge. Okay. So right you just add a little milk and a little, uh, let me see how we're looking on that side. Oh, yeah, that's going to be, can you smell it? Oh, I can definitely smell it. Season smell okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good now, seasoning. you know what, now, because, um, Bob, I know that if you're dealing with pork and everything, there's, is there, uh, like, a low-carb situation dealing with pork? I mean, everybody's on the low-carb craze and stuff, so is there a low-carb with, with pork and, and beef? Uh, and you're going to have the fat content more with the bean. Okay. And saturated fats. Okay. So those of us uh, who just like to eat, we should just go ahead and enjoy it. I think meat is more Atkins friendly. Okay. It's going to be naturally low in carbs. Right. Um, okay. But if barbecue is prepared properly, you're rendering the fat. You mm -hmm. still have some fat in that, but you're rendering the fat through the meat. And you should have very little fat left in that meat when it's cooked. Okay. Um, here, a lot of people say, well, I don't like spare ribs because they're too fatty. Mm -hmm. If they're cooked properly, they're not too fatty. They're okay. not too fatty. But. Okay. All right, gentlemen, well, I understand that. And, and, and just like I say, Marsha, my thing is, it, it, sometime in the near future, I got to get outside with Bob and grill. That okay. I'm looking forward okay. to. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, now, see, just like I said, it took, some, took about maybe five minutes. Okay. And, and like I said, salmon is a fish that you can, uh, you don't have to cook it real well, well mm -hmm. done, because once you take it off the grill, it's still going to be uh, mm -hmm. cooking throughout. What's the duration time for salmon? Can it stay? Can you, can you cook this and then, you know, eat it? A later on, yeah. Later? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, What's yeah. the heating process? Do you just microwave it or? You, yeah, you, can, you can microwave it to, uh, to reheat it or, or you can uh, throw it in the oven for a few minutes. Okay. Now, if a person doesn't have one of these top grills like you have, can they do it in a pan? You can do it in a cast down skillet. You can okay. do it in a regular frying pan. Like I said, this is just stuff that we have available. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of us don't have this particular here, but everybody probably has a cast iron skillet in their home. Right. Okay, and with the cast iron skillet, you just put a little oil in there and, and put, position your Exactly. Piece. No. Drop of oil. I'm, One drop I'm gonna, of oil. I'm going to tell you something. I never knew that you could, well, I knew you could grill, but with, with the cast iron skillet, is that more like frying? It would be fire? considered more blackening, I would think. You That's know. blackening. Okay, I didn't know what blackening really meant. I just eat it. But <laughs> I didn't know what blackening. They, and means. they put like they just put a, a spice on it to make it. Uh, okay, all oh, spicy. You know what I'm saying? All this time I thought blackening really meant it went under some flame. Okay, okay. No, they just put like a Cajun spice over it, and then you put it in a cast iron skillet and burn it. A hot skillet. Yeah. Real okay. hot heat. Okay. And it just sets it in real nice. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, this looks good, and it, it, it smells great, and I'm sure someone is going to email us or, you know, give us a call and ask for the recipe for this particular type of meal, because I know that, you know, this is something that you can make any time, like you said, and, and you can have it overnight and save it to right. the next day. And then you can take it and put it on a salad the next day if you like, or wow, you can make a wrap. Okay, oh, don't mention wraps, okay? <laughs> I actually like the wraps. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take another commercial break, and I guarantee you when we get back, it'll be time to eat. Be right back. All righty, then. I'm going to get this other gadget okay, going.
And welcome back again to the Just Ask Light and Easy segment with my two friends, Bob and Bradley. Okay, now guys, you know, the people have been watching saying, how long does this take? We know this is a half an hour show. Bradley, give me a, a roundabout time. How long would this complete meal take? Uh, roughly about 16, 17 minutes okay. to make it home. Okay, so... The audience know we're killing time. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I'm looking at I'm looking at this the salmon and I'm now see, I'm, see I'm how watching. it's actually starting to flake up. That yeah. means it, it's getting pretty done. Like I said, salmon is a fish that you can eat at medium rare. I mean, most people have a tendency to overcook salmon. Yeah, you don't have to cook it all the way through. Right. It'll dry out on you too. Exactly. So I mean, so it, it's pretty much at the doneness that I would want it to be now. And, right. and like I said, the other thing we're gonna do here is some couscous. Now I got a dry seasoning pack that I add mm -hmm. to this. Uh, Boiling water, and what that what it, what it is is just like a a tomato base and some lentil beans. Okay. And and they, uh, what I like about it, these beans are are designed to rehydrate in five minutes. Now, how long does uh, couscous take to, to prepare? It, it it takes uh the length of time it takes to boil water. Okay. So like so like this is pretty much uh, ready. You get the water, you bring the water to a boil, mm -hmm. turn it off, add your product. Let me get that other box over there behind you, Marsha. Oh, okay, sure. And you use the whole box? Yes. Okay. Now well, you're using two boxes, so... That's because, uh, the, the reason I'm using two boxes is because uh, you guys are going to get to eat all this up in a little bit. Of course. Bit. Okay, <laughs> okay, but did you need two seasoning packs or with one seasoning pack? Well, well, well with this, I, I got one for each box. Okay. And just like I said, the key to this right now is just takes about five minutes. Well, I hope we get a shot of that because that looks like it's pretty good there. Yeah, and like I said, all, all it has to do now is absorb the water. Okay. And it's pretty much finished. So I've turned the fire off, mm -hmm. and all we have to do is now let the uh, couscous uh, absorb the water. Okay, so a woman can actually go into another room and, and vacuum the floor and, and or something. turn on all my children. That's what she got to do. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, like I said, I'm just adding a few dried uh, cranberries to kind of wake this up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that the, that's to give a little sweetness to it? Yeah. Okay, because sometimes we don't want everything so... Well, that's not salty at all, right? No salt. Okay, okay, but it's got a seasoning to it. Okay. Yeah, like I said, now, it's gonna be more like uh, tomatoy, you know. Okay, so now, so so you guys agree that you shouldn't cook the salmon all the way, or it's okay to cook the salmon all the way? Which one? Well, look, I, I prefer mine to be a little medium red, but like I said, it depends oh, I on what you like. Some people taste. like, yeah, some people like their stuff. Okay. Pretty charred. Okay. I'm probably with the char group. Okay, okay. Well, what is the history about fish not being cooked all the way? I mean, is there something, a big deal about it? Or because we're so used to having fish cooked all the way that... In America. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I mean, salmon is a, a fish they use in sushi, which is raw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had you a friend know. tell me the other day, too, he had salmon he did on his grill. Mm -hmm. He said he cooked it almost rare. So it tastes like steak. It's okay, one of the best but, pieces of meat he ever had. So you can actually go in a restaurant and... and as for uh, salmon tartar, salmon tartar, okay, and that it's means raw salmon. Okay, so salmon rare is salmon what? Salmon rare. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. that's what you tell them. Yeah, salmon rare. I just want my salmon rare. real rare. Yeah. Okay. Flip mine's over two times, fellas. Okay. So like All I right. said, this is this is basically uh, ready. Okay. So, uh, Bob, you know what? I've been working all day. There you go. Okay. I was going to ask you. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see what you got here. Uh, should we go that one? Yeah, that, that, that one looks yeah. pretty good. I'll run that up. Thanks for that. Uh, releasing. There we go. Don't worry about it. That had to happen. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so now is the skin, you know, I mean, some people don't like the skin. Is it, normally, it? normally during the cooking process, the skin will come off because there's mm -hmm. a lot of oils. Uh, up under the skin. Okay. And I like, like I said, with the couscous, you see there, it's pretty much ready. It takes about five minutes. Oh wow! Let those guys get a shot of that, cause that's. It takes about five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then, like, I, all I normally do, Marsh, is just, and this is this is my meal uh, for the day. Do you have an idea how many calories that is? Uh, probably about three hundred. Three hundred calories. Okay. Yeah. So this would. Because be I mean, normally I wouldn't eat. This large of a portion. Okay. But for my normal meal for that day, because I try to stay around 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day to maintain the weight that I'm at. Because I don't know if you remember the first time I came here, it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was a pretty chunky fella. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, 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 so the thing of it is, I try to watch what I eat, uh, the, the, actually, the number of calories, because calories are what the body stores to 
make that uh, extra weight that we carry. Okay. So this meal is three hundred. Yeah, for for the for the for the for the, for, the, for a normal portion. But like I say, I put enough on this plate for, say, three people. Oh. So then that makes it nine hundred. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying yeah, but it's nine hundred total, but mm -hmm. three hundred a piece if we ate a uh, four ounce portion. Don't yeah, they figure same in three, four ounce. Three, pieces, four ounce, right? Exactly. Something. Where my wife might eat that much, where mm -hmm. I would eat probably almost that whole piece. Well, well men mostly. Too. But I like okay. eating. But but know. just like I say now, over the next few months, we gonna show Bob how he can eat that little piece. Okay. And. We gonna bring him down too. Okay. Well, Bob, are you are you there. trying to go down, Bob? Actually, I am a little. Yeah. I, okay. So you're gonna show us how to, how to start going down with 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 the barbecue and pork, a little bit, right, right. pork okay. a bit. Mm. Okay. So I know we want to get to you uh, primarily before it gets cold, and then yeah, even when it's cold, we want to have you come and show us how to do something. And, 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 then, the other, water, I'll be out there and then the other thing is too, Marshall. Like like say for instance, pork has got such a bad rap over the years as being the worst thing that you can eat. But if you look at pork today, pork is pretty much white meat mm -hmm. so it's not okay red flesh so it's, it's not going to be as hard to digest in the body as a say a steak okay it's going to be a lot more easier on the intestinal tract so so like i said pork is not a bad thing for you i mean you, it, the, uh, it got a bad rap because people were eating the feet and the tails and the oh, okay. parts that weren't good for you you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. because you think about the liver is what filters all the impurities in the body so if you eat that it goes okay. inside of you so most bad things are introduced Okay, well, we've been eating it so long. I don't know how bad is it, but okay. Well, I mean, just like I said, technically it has changed over the last 15 years. I mean, most commercially raised hogs' feet never touch the ground. Okay. All right, oh, a, a lesson in <laughs> animal culture, I guess. <laughs> well, well, I'm just saying, so, I mean, because we we we're not here to make people think they don't have to eat meat. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, we're, we're a meat-eating culture, so it's going to be hard to get the whole world or not. Well, stuff they used to feed pigs. Right. Back I was saying today, right? It was whatever it was they a lot gave. worse than now. You know, okay. now it's more controlled. Okay. Well, I'm sure after product. today, a lot of us will be trying to eat more fish, as well as we'll be trying to catch the fish and eat it. Okay. So, oh well, Bob yeah, was going So, uh, <laughs> oh man, I, 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 I want to taste the couscous first, and then I see a little piece of fish sitting on the side. And I'll get that, and this couscous looks good. So, I'll get in and see what you've done here, boss. And just like I said, I like the flavor mm. of cranberries and lentil. It's just something about uh, the mm. way they go together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's good. Well, now you know what you this keep has. Them a, <laughs> mm. This has a a little sweetness to it, a little um, not really salt. It's just like a little seasoning type right. flavor to it. That's good. See, because you you, you got to remember, tomato is one of our uh, mother sauces. <clears throat> so mm. if you got any tomato in it, it's going to flavor. Um, pretty much whatever you do. Now, I'm the kind of person, I'll probably go past the, the aisles where couscous at and never, never pick it now, up. Now, most supermarkets would have it uh, in the, what they call ethnic aisles. Okay. Because it, it's, it's, it's not a, something that most Americans um, eat, so we'll walk by it. But people that from the Mediterranean area wow. will look for it. That fish is great. Yeah, well, like I said, it, this, this, this seasoning actually works real good on the, on the grill. You can, you can put this on pork. Um, I don't. I wouldn't really use it on beef, but I would use it like on duck or something else like that. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's a real good, uh, and it has a real nice aromatic flair to it. You know, so. Uh, so that's okay. that's salt. That's sea salt, pepper. Pepper. Uh, actually, I use white pepper in here, and okay. uh, I got like uh, some tarragon, a little bit of uh, basil and parsley, and some lemon peel. Lemon peel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Taste that fish. Oh. And and a yeah. and a little bit of uh, dehydrated vinegar. Dehydrate. Where do you find dehydrated vinegar at? Okay, I'm like, what uh, is that? You know, you some can, I would go use. <laughs> okay, that sounds like something out of a store. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, um, do you suggest a person go to a spice store and pick up a few of these items to now make? Now, that's what season? I. That, you know what? Normally, I go down to uh, Eastern Market. There's a place in Eastern Market that sells all kind of spices, right. and, and you can make your own rubs and stuff like that. So, okay. I kind of like. Okay. I enjoy. That's my day out. You know. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to try a okay. rare piece because. So Normally, much, I'm not a rare person. But, but just like I say, it's really not that rare. Okay, well, you know, I don't know mm -hmm. if these guys can see, see how it. moist that is, too, though? Yeah, it is, and it's real flaky, and I don't know if these guys can see the little rareness, but my mind is telling me, hmm. Not done. Right, you know, and that would scare me to think that no way I'll get some fish that's not done. You know, but I'm going to trust it to you guys because what? You, you're on my show. Okay, so <laughs> let, me, let me try this. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you've been eating your fish overdone. <laughs> That's good. 
I didn't take any time to cook. And, and, and like I said, next time I cook salmon, uh, Bob and I cook salmon, I'm going to do it on the grill, and we're going to do like a uh, brown sugar and, and dill mixture that uh, that smokes oh, are really yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. believe me, Bob, I, I, I can't wait to get on that grill. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to have fun on that. I, I can't that. wait, you know. Well, this is this is great. I mean, you know, a lot of times we, we're not sure about what we should have for uh, dinner or for lunch, but if you can <clears throat> afford it. Now, this is an affordable meal, too. Well, just like I said, if uh, the salmon, you know, like like myself, I buy the whole salmon and then I portion it out to okay. what my wife and I will eat for the for the day. And okay. like I said, a box of couscous, um, they say maybe three servings, so we figured one and a half servings a person, and and it's filling. And we might throw a, uh, some vegetables on there. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much what we eat. Every I'm other gonna, day. I was going to ask you about vegetables. So vegetables are optional to have. Or yeah. Oh like yeah. That. Oh yeah. Like I said, uh, sometimes we just eat a salad, uh, a green salad, or something like that, or okay. or um, depends on what we got. Okay. You know, we might okay. just eat a. Well, for the Weight Watchers, I think this is a good good concept here. And if you start eating like this, like, like I said, I can I can guarantee you that you will lose weight. And I'm not dieting. It's just that I change okay. the way that I eat. Okay. You and, know. And the more we get into changing the way we eat. Exactly, yeah. and watching the number of calories that we put in our in our, in our mouth, and like I said, because most people uh, sleep on a thousand calories. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, you know what, well, Bob. What I'm going to tell you is that when, you know we're going to do a show with you, and, and uh, we would love to have you come back. Okay. okay? So you. definitely, we don't want to exclude pork, the white meat, you know, the next white meat or anything, and we do want you to show us, you know, some people want to be able to cook uh, barbecue without the barbecue sauce. Is that still barbecue? Yes. Okay. But sauce is a condiment. Oh, exactly. My it, it, my, Bob, that was the best thing you could ever say. Because you, know, <laughs> okay. okay. you hear people say, like, like for instance, yeah. uh, uh, they say Memphis is the barbecue capital of the world, yeah. but I don't truly see that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because, I mean, I've eaten barbecue there, and it's all right, yeah. but I've had better. Okay. To me, the meat should stand on its own for what it is. Exactly. Sauce okay. comes on the side. Okay, so and, we're going to uh, definitely do a show with you, and we hopefully we can get you to do a show with us, you yeah. know, with and without the sauce. So people will say, hey, I can eat that. Yeah. Okay? Well, you didn't have to add a lot of sauce. It's a okay. glaze, simple glaze. A glaze. Right, I, yeah, because, I, I mean, I, I hate to go to a place and they don't dip my meat down in some barbecue sauce, and they're dripping all over everything. I just want mine brushed on. And that used to be the thing in the day. Okay. If it wasn't messy, it wasn't barbecue. That's right. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you both as usual. Marsha, it was a pleasure. Okay, and Bob, you, welcome aboard, and thank you. Thank you. Okay. My pleasure. Bob, right. Bradley, thank We're you. We're going to do this every weekend. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we don't specialize in just cooking shows. We're an informational program, but all summer long, we do want to provide you with healthy eating, and these tips don't just go in the summer. They go all year long, really, so... Please feel free to, if you have a question, call us at the station, 248-988-0250, 248-988-0250, and that number's at the bottom of our screen. And our website, justastalkshow.org. So please feel free if you have a question for uh, Chef Bradley or our newcomer, Bob Zyler, Barbecue Bob, uh, you can always write us or give us a call, and we'll forward the information to them, and you will see these gentlemen again. I'm going to eat the salmon and the couscous before it gets cold. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Marsha Florence, for Just Ask. And what do I always say? If you know someone with a disability, don't be afraid to ask, just ask. And if you have a general question, just ask that too. Thank you. Now, I'm going to take this.